Dr. Stone, Chapter 102, Science Vessel, Perseus. Full speed ahead. So are you saying that there are survivors of the human race? Other than us? On Treasure Island? Yeah. Thanks to the information we got from this guy here. We confirmed that humans are living there. So if it were a desert island, this would be simple. We could just waltz on in and explore all we want. As usual, you're always getting dealt a totally lousy hand, aren't you, Thank you. Hang on a second. I don't quite follow. Just who are these people living on Treasure Island? Was all of humanity turned to stone? Then perhaps they are distant relatives of Ishigami Village. Though this is merely a hypothesis, it's 10 billion percent on the mark. When all of humanity was turned to stone, thank you father and his fellow astronauts, who were all in space aboard the spacecraft, and managed to escape that fate. So their descendants have continued to live on Treasure Island for generations and generations, become the people there today. The will of the creator of the 100 Tells was, one day, make your way to Japan, huh, perhaps over these thousand years. They've had people try to challenge the oceans before, but fell. Eventually, there were those who took the risk, Someone with enough insanity, guts, and luck, and made their way across the sea to Japan. Then that would mean that would be Ishigami Village's ancestors. Of course, they weren't so stupid to all go and risk losing everything or everyone all at once. So naturally, there should have been those that remained on the island. Tuesday, like, I, I see. So the descendants of those that remained. Are the current inhabitants of Treasure Island my birthplace? I do hope they're friendly. If not, uh, they'll have to work your magic, Mr. Mentalist. So it'll be fine since it won't be your problem, huh? <laughs> Batman. Like, hmm. If they try to go against us, we can just slaughter the lot of them. We got plenty of wars with us. I said this before, but attacking people is a bad thing, Magma. I think we should probably have. Taiju stick with magma when they're out and about might do something. Uh, you don't think the Y men are there, do you? Somewhere among the Treasure Island people, huh? Indeed, the people are there. Then it would make sense. Oh, nameless, or rather, so you. Why have you kept quiet about this poor information all the all the way until now? Are really one of us, or are you not on the side of Ishikama Village? Sweat, hmm? Ah, I mean, thank you for confessing what you did to us. Conflicted. Hmm. With the natural resources of a small island like that, would they really be able to develop their culture to the point that they could broadcast uh, saturated radio waves like that? Ah. If they really did have that kind of scientific power, there's no way they'd still stay cooped up in a tiny island like that. When? Well, lay far beyond the horizon. I want to see all of the world. I want to know everything. That desire is the one thing that humanity simply cannot resist. I, I also, have always wanted to know. If I really, if I really not one of you, then where do I belong? Relying on the faint memories of the scenery in my mind, I got on a boat and made off. I was capsized during during a storm. But if I found out, what I what I do? Even if I did find them, at this point, it wouldn't it wouldn't mean or change anything. Even still, I just wanted to know. That's right. Simply wanted to know. That curiosity is the original driving force behind all of science. So then, perhaps Soju's has been one of us all along, part of the kingdom of science. Yeah, be like oh. No matter how many days I paddled out, I never saw any islands. But with this ship of science, I'm sure we'll find something. It'll be faster than you think. About how many more days before we arrive at Treasure Island? We'll be there in just a few more hours. That was fast. Oh. Like, huh. Ship that our ancestors risked their lives struggling to cross. We managed we managed in a blink of an eye. Perseus is insane. 
This really is the culmination of all the hard work and effort of Senku's science team, isn't it? It really is. Makes me, makes me wish I could have seen exactly how it was made. Zuria, that statement just now was just more fuel to the ever-burning fire of those men over there. Whatever, whatever happens next, you're on your own, huh? Oh, you want to see it? You do. The ship we made? Like, well, if you really want to, then I guess we got no choice. We got plenty of science learning materials. Okay. These dudes are completely obsessed with uh, tweaking and fine-tuning their toys. You even breathe the notion of wanting to see their work. You're in for it. At this rate, you won't be able to escape until they're finished. It's right. This kind of thing happens all the time. I remember when Senk used five-hour explanation about rockets. He's a hardcore veteran of this. Hey, they're going downstairs or upstairs. Aha! Uh -huh. Let me guide you then. This is the inner workings of the science vessel Perseus. Morai's sea boat. Perseus. Searchlight. Antenna radar. GPS. A sign of science. These stairs are really steep. A greenhouse. Dormitory. Five tier bunk bed. When you go down the stairs, make sure you grab the handrail with the with the backhand grip on the bottom side. If you grab it from the top, if the ship rocks forward, you'll fall. This is the fundamental of uh, being aboard a ship. It's full of parts that have precise fine curves all over. Oh ho ho ho, a ship is nothing like you, can row. It cannot be perfectly straight and unyielding. Otherwise, it would break. Okay, communication room. Yeah, I call me a big one, catfish. Communication room. Yeah, these windows on the ship are made with the worst, with the worst case scenario accident in mind. They're just big enough that a person can fit it through. What? Through a tiny hole like this? Engine room. Of course, it's the lifeline of the kingdom of science, after all. I think you're the you're the only one that might have a rough time with it, Taiju. Oh, we even have a lab on board. Hmm? It's a lab built on the back of a car, so we can even move it around wherever we like after landing. Ah, it's me puking. Oh, okay. I know idea. I get this sick on a ship. I'm gonna hurl. Okay, how pathetic. What happened to all the bragging about being people of the water, village raised on the water? They can't help it. It's their first time traveling such a long distance. Ah, we didn't pack any countermeasures for seek sickness along. But no problem. That's what we have a lab for. We want to fight seek sickness. The fastest way is uh, to, su to suppress the... Uh, autonomic nerves. It's something like copolymine using uh, datura stramonium or ginseng weed. Oh, is this a super um, medical flower? Nope, it's a super poison flower. What? We'll split apart the oil uh, soluble and water soluble parts. And extract just the parts with medicinal value. In extremely minuscule amounts, it is therapeutic. But if you administer it sloppily, it can it can really kill you. So definitely don't touch this flower. Huh? Wait. Yeah, I'm all better. Go to bed. You're feeling good enough to celebrate. Then get back to work. Like, it's incredible, even in the stone world. We have a scientific uh, medical office for this ship. Even if a storm hits, we might be okay. Storm? Do you think the people of the water are afraid of something like that? The moment he's better, he's back to being a cocky loudmouth. If you're that cocky, a storm is really going to come. The water of the sea is like a wicked woman. Its entire appearance can change at a moment's notice. Oh, they're in the ship. Eek! 
being thrown off. I had no idea it could turn for the worse this fast. Unlike being on land, there's nowhere you can go for shelter, huh? What's the matter, Rice Eye? Is this situation really that bad? Rocket? Wait, what? Oh. Did you add goat's milk to this Japanese tea uh, to make it a latte, Francois? Not bad. He's way too relaxed. Okay. Hmm. I made my way through more storms than I can even count. As long as I'm captaining this ship, we won't even come close to an emergency. So no, so no need to panic or be in a rush. It's like he's like, he's in a crazy rush. No, this is the exact time to rush. Hurry up, all of you. This has nothing to do with panic or mercies or danger. This is our chance. We still have no idea who we're doing with on the on the island, whether they're friend or foe. So now, during the during the storm, we pull, if we pull this off right, they won't be able to detect us. We can see them without them uh, seeing us. Using the eye of science, and and make our approach. All hands, keep it to your stations, telescope, radar, and GPS. Looking in. Looking in, little baby. How could I ever forget this? Without a doubt, this this is the landscape of the place I was born. Coo coo coo! We have arrived. By by Akuya. Okay, Akuya, to Treasure Island. Be ready for what comes next, because anything could happen. Now this excites me. Adventure awaits them in the midst of a storm. They're going stealthily. Hmm. Might be a good idea. Yeah. Although if if they're found out when they're on the island, and like, where'd you come from? Or, I don't know. Depending on how they play this, but did the inhabitants of the island recognize uh, Soyuz? I mean, he does have the shield, so maybe he's their way in. Yeah. Huh. So I think he made like C um sick Remini. Huh. Well, and then they're announcing the TV anime is under production, and the new arc continues to unfold. Uh, so they're gonna reach there probably next chapter. Yeah, they should. Um, what are your thoughts? And if you're new, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.